Too much. Well, next up, if you don't think Greece is a good enough example of the dangers of massive spending, maybe Puerto Rico's budget battle will hit closer to home. Unions continue violent protests against the government's steps to cut spending and heal the economy. Puerto Rico's governor, Luis Fortuño, he joins me now. Sir, how difficult has it been for you to pass any kind of austerity measures in Puerto Rico? Are you seeing a tremendous backlash down there? Uh, well, not really, in the sense that uh, we inherited the largest state budget deficit in the country, proportionally speaking. It was 45% of our state budget. Uh, from 45% in 18 months, we have brought it down to 12%. We have made very tough decisions, but, uh, but we have no choice. But are you seeing protests? Are you experiencing street protests down there? Well, let me tell you, the day the legislature was approving the budget by a two-to-one margin, uh, university students tried to disrupt the, uh, the conducting of uh, uh, normal operations at the state capitol, and I wish that had not happened. But let me tell you, because of the tough choices we have made, we will lower taxes across the board this year. We're going against the current, against what Washington is doing nowadays. At the same time, the same groups are opposing our public-private partnership legislation, which is uh, extremely attractive, the best in the country, our streamlining of our per uh, permitting process. We have pro-growth uh, policies, and that's exactly what the voters asked for. I campaign on a, on a very clear platform of lowering taxes, shrinking the size of government, and making sure that we will grow our economy, and that's what we intend the to governor, do. Governor, now, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you have a 15% unemployment rate, but I think one out of five workers in Puerto Rico actually work for the government. Is that right? Well, let me tell you, when I came in, it was uh, upwards of, of 22 24%. That has been coming down, and actually since January, we have generated jobs in the private sector as opposed to the public sector. That's where the jobs should be. And that's exactly what I told the voters in the largest margin in 44 years. That's what I told the voters I would do, and that's how the voters gave me a mandate to do. All right, now, just given what you're experiencing in Puerto Rico, and you probably have seen what's going on in the United States and what's in, happening in Greece, do you think that what, what you see happening in places like California and Illinois, which has been steadily down, both states have been steadily downgraded uh, by the credit rating agencies, do you see the problems getting worse here in the United States? Well, let me tell you something. And again, we are part of, the, of America, but we are doing uh, what we need to do. Uh, actually, Moody's in the, in the last month or so upgraded us as opposed to what's happening to other states. Uh, so uh, if states do what they need to do to balance their budgets, as we're doing in Puerto Rico, you will be able to grow their economy, they'll be able to lower taxes, as we will do this year, and they'll have a better rating. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of these protesters are b basically being fueled by government workers who don't like their pension cuts. You know, one analyst said to me, hell hath no pensioner, hell hath no fury like a pensioner scorn. But I don't know if you saw what Governor Chris Christie is doing in New Jersey. He's basically trying to now privatize. Are you trying to privatize as well? He's doing things to, you know, who would have thought that state employees would have to pay for the, their own parking spaces? He asking, he's asking for things as simple as that. Is that what you're seeing in your reforms? Well, let me tell you, what we're doing right now is we are bringing government back to basics and to make it effect, efficient and effective. We have to address as well, and we are addressing as well, in addition to the budget crisis that we inherited, uh, we're addressing as well uh, th that the pension area. Uh, we, I created a commission that is working on that, and certainly we will all have to chip in to address it. But I know Governor Christie, he's a courageous man and he's doing the right thing. Uh, that's exactly what we've been doing for the last 18 months in Puerto Rico as well. Which states do you think need to do what you've been doing? Well, if you uh, read around what, what's happening, uh, over 40 states will have a state budget deficit this year. Uh, that cannot be sustained. I believe every state has to have a balanced budget and must have pro-growth policies. At least from uh, my point of view, in Puerto Rico, we will not only be able to sustain our, our, our growth that we used to have before this crisis, but we'll be able to actually attract new businesses and jobs that may not be going to those states that are not doing, uh, making the right decisions. All right. The governor of Puerto Rico, Luis Fortunio, thank you so much for being with us tonight, sir. Really delighted you joined us. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. Next up, a fire.